Hello guys, I am Arvind and this is continuation video of array in C programming and it is part 3. So guys in this lecture we are going to write few array programs. So guys let's go ahead and we'll discuss first program. So guys we are going to write a C program to copy the values in an array from another array. So guys let me open up the Turbo C++ compiler. So guys, in this program, we are going to learn how can we copy elements from an array to another array. So guys, I have declared two array A and B of size 5 and then I am taking input from the user by using a scanner function to the array A and then I am going to print each element from the array A by using this for loop. After that, I am going to assign each element from the array A to the b by using this for loop so initially when the value of i will be 0 and 0 less than 5 so this condition will be true then a0 will be assigned to b0 and then i++ will be executed so the i will be 1 and then this condition will be checked so 1 less than 5 and this condition is true then a1 will be assigned to b1 and this process will continue until all the elements from the A will be assigned to B. After that, we are going to print each element from the B by using this for loop. So now if I run this program, it is requesting to enter the value in array A. So let me enter the 5 values in array A. So guys output will be like this. So in the first statement it is printing the elements from the A and then it is printing the all elements from the array B. So guys I hope it is clear to you and now moving forward guys. So guys now we are going to write a C program to copy the values from an array to another array in reverse order. So guys let me open up the Turbo C++ compiler. So guys in this program we are going to learn how can we copy elements from an array to another array in the reverse order. So I have declared two array A and B of size 5 and then I am taking input from the user by using a scanf function using for loop and after that I am going to print each element from the array A by using this for loop. After that, I am going to assign each element from the array A to array B in the reverse order by using this for loop. So initially when the i is 0, so it will check this condition. So 0 less than 5 and this condition will be true. Then A of 4 minus 0 that will be A of 4. So A of 4 will be assigned to B0 and then I++ will be executed. So 1 less than 5 will be true and then A3 will be assigned to P1. And this process will continue until each element from the array A will be assigned to B in the reverse order. And after that I will print each element from the B by using this for loop. So guys now if I run this program it is requesting to enter the values in array A. So let me enter a few values in array A. So output will be like this. So in the first statement it is printing the values from array A and that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and in the second statement it is printing the values of array B that is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So guys we can say that we have copied each element from the array A to B in the reverse order. So guys I hope it is clear to you and thank you so much guys for watching this video. Just in case you liked it do not forget to like and subscribe. I will see you then in the next video.